Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to figure out the trig function values with reference triangles. And here we're using degrees first. In the next video, I will show you guys how to do it with radians. So first of all, this is tangent of 240 degrees. Right away, we are going to draw our picture like this. Starting from the positive x-axis and rotate counterclockwise 240 degrees. So just keep track. From here to here is 180 already, right? And then we will just have to go 60 degrees more. And then you can just go ahead, connect the dots. So the picture will look something like this, right? And once again, we mentioned that this right here is 60 degrees. And in fact, this is the reference angle. And we can just put in our special right triangle right here. And when we are doing this kind of things with our calculator, all of these questions will be done right with a uh, special right triangles, either 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90. And sometimes we will be dealing with quadrantal angles, but that's for another video. But anyway, when we have 60 degrees right here, we know this is 30. This is, of course, a 90 degree angle. OK, when you go away from 60 degrees, this side has the ratio square root of 3. But since it's downward, right, so it's negative. And from here to here, that's opposite of the 30 degrees. So this right here will be 1, but it's toward the left, so it's negative 1, right? The x value is negative 1. The y value is negative square root of 3. And then from here to here, you know that's positive 2 for the r. So just like this. So this will be considered a reference triangle. And if you want to figure out tangent of 240 degrees, this is how we can do it. You can look at this picture and recall that tangent is equal to y over x. y is this, x is this. So it's negative square root of 3 over negative 1. And of course, you can just simplify this. In the end, you get positive square root of 3. And of course, you can do more. You can do sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent, based on this triangle with this angle 240 degrees. Okay, But this is the answer for that. Now, secant of 150 degrees. Same thing, we draw a picture first. Starting from the positive x-axis, this time, we only need to rotate counterclockwise 150 degrees. From here to here is 90 degrees already. To get to 150, we have to go 60 degrees more, right? So this much is 60 degrees. And here is the terminal side. It's going to look like this. Well, we need 30 degrees so we can complete 180, right? So we know the reference angle in this case is 30 degrees. And we can just put down our right triangle like this. So here is the reference triangle like that. OK, when you go away from 30 degrees, this right here will be 1. But this is above the x-axis, so it stays positive 1. This side is negative square root of 3 now, okay? Because that's away from the 60 degree, right? And then this is still 2. Now, secant, right? We're trying to figure out secant of 150 degrees. This right here is equal to, remember, cosine is x over r. Secant is r over x. So it's r, that's 2, over x, which is negative square root of 3. And once you have this, you can just multiply the bottom and the top by square root of 3. right? You can, you can rationalize the denominator. So all in all, we have negative and then 2 square root of 3 over in the bottom here is just a regular 3. So here is the answer for that. And this was the answer for that earlier. So let me just write it down like this. Better. OK, last one, sine of 315 degrees. So without further ado, you know the deal. Draw the picture starting from the positive x-axis and just keep track when you rotate. From here to here is 180, and then this right here is 270. I need 45 in order to get to 315, right? So 45 will be right here. And we can just connect this like this. OK. This right here was 45. That means this right here 
will also be 45 degrees and this right here is exactly the reference angle and now we can put down the reference triangle like this okay and just try to make your picture as reasonable as possible and of course you know my picture is not that good but it's okay anyway remember the ratio of the sides that's the most important part 45 45 90 the ratios are 1 and this is past the 1 because it's on the right hand side this right here is 1, but it's downwards, so it's negative 1. And then the hypotenuse right here is square root of 2. So, based on this, we can say sine of 315 degrees. This is equal to y over r. Negative 1 over square root of 2, right? y over r. And then fix this a little bit, multiply the bottom and the top by square root of 2, so we get negative square root of 2 over 2 like this and just a small remark you can put a negative on the top in the front or on the bottom right but usually try to put it on the top or in the front either way but anyway this is it and hopefully you guys find this video to be helpful if you think so please give me a like and also you know subscribe if you are new to my channel and that's it watch my next video i'll show you guys more about this that's it